Hey guys, we're here at Free Play Richardson and a little preview before open uh, look at our new layout changes. Um, we answered two major requests uh, with a small rotation. We're gonna get to it in a second, but first, uh, a little replacement game that had to come in, Jersey Jack's The Hobbit. Right now we have both Lord of the Rings on the floor up at the front and The Hobbit here in the back. Opened a little too late to get a lot of the, uh, the Jersey Jack titles on the floor, so we've been kind of uh, working through a backstock. So here's The Hobbit. It's actually a temporary replacement. We're expecting this one to be a permanent Fort Worth game, a free play Fort Worth, but for now, uh, the pin that was here, uh, Theater of Magic, had to go for a little bit of work in the backs, and Fortunately, at Free Play, we have lots and lots of cool stuff to bring in. So, this is The Hobbit as a temporary replacement for Theater of Magic. Uh, come play it while you can. Otherwise, wait for it at Free Play Fort Worth. And then, right over here, uh, you saw it at Akon. This is Richardson's Killer Queen. One of like the most bar game, bar games that's out, and they've done all these great improvements over the last couple of years that have really polished it to the point that we can put it out and feel like confident that. People are going to love it, have a great time playing it, and slowly kind of uh, build a community, build a league around it. So this is our second Killer Queen. We have one, Free Play Arlington, second one here at Free Play Richardson. And you know what, if you want to see them at all the locations, or you want to see them start popping up at more locations, just uh, support the game. Show up for league nights on Wednesdays, um, join the community, the Free Play Arcade community group, and then join the, uh, the Killer Queen community groups too. So uh, if you love this game, which you know we do, uh, come play it and show us that uh, it should be everywhere and we'll put it in every, every arcade. Alright, and then this is probably the biggest request that we've had uh, in the past six, seven months. So, Free Play Richardson went from a Blast City, uh, well it actually went from an original Big Blue that had Super Turbo in it and our community started growing and growing and uh, eventually there was kind of a um, fever kind of pitch for putting it in some sort of candy cab. Uh, and, and we were told quite frequently that, you know, the major huge players, especially those players from Japan, really want to play on candy cabs. So uh, we put it on a blast city. And that uh, kind of satiated the need for a little bit. And then of course, as we started getting more serious about fighting games, and we saw this Super Turbo community become the biggest in the country uh, here at Free Play, we said, we gotta get serious. We need to get head-to-head -head cabinets. And our favorite head-to-head -head cabinet is the Versus City. So we put a single Versus City at Free Play, um, and with Super Turbo on it uh, here at Richardson. It was doing great. And then we got a second one uh, and we launched it with CVS2 and we said in one of the podcasts, that might've been a little bit of a mistake. Um, we kind of thought a CVS2 community was going to just grassroots really fast. It didn't really happen, great game. And some people who love it, but definitely not enough uh, to have given, given a dedicated uh, Versus City. So we still have a CVS2 Versus here but it's mostly gonna be running Super Turbo. So we have two Super Turbos, and then a big, huge request from the big growing community that we might have been too harsh on, might have been neglected. Street Fighter III Third Strike is in a Versus City here at Richardson, also in a Versus City at Arlington, and it all complements, of course, that USF4, Ultra Street Fighter IV, dedicated head-to-head -head in a Capcom Ulix. Uh, you never see those. Um, so. Uh, those were the two main requests we wanted to knock out. We wanted to do a quick update to kind of let you on YouTube know where we're at. And hold on, I have to, my wife, Kelsey, who's now popping up in a lot of videos, would uh, not be happy if I didn't point out one other game that got rotated in really quick, uh, just because she's been uh, in my ear about it so much. We brought back Pingo, one of my all-time favorite games and a game that Kelsey can just uh, destroy me on. Pingo's one of the coolest maze games. I think it's got a really cool twist to it and it's a great Sega game and it's back and you kind of noticed as we walked around Daytona got moved around to make room for Killer Queen and in fact the whole layout changed a little bit uh, which is always really fun it's kind of like when you're a kid and you rearrange your room you move your bed to the other side you walk in and all of a sudden you're like look at how cool this is look at all this space but that's it that's the free play Richardson update three versus cities here one with third strike a Killer Queen is here some cool pinball some new arcades and uh, that's it we're signing off thanks guys